of risk, you only get an Adam Mattis and 4,000 to 400 pretty much. What it could have used him. Welcome back to the Prince and Tigers. So guys, we are doing the off season, season four. Getting excited to see what our new overall is gonna be. Moving to the Big Ten, as you guys requested. And um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Here guys, this is what we have all not been waiting for. This is the saddest part of the off season. Players leaving. Let's get it started. So first, David Davidson. I don't really care about him. Just, he's just transferring. I mean, he could be a good backup. Um, not really much we can do here. I mean, I can guess I can try to convince him to stay, but... Yeah, okay, there we go. He's leaving for South Carolina. Good luck. James Thomas was a good lineman for us, guys. Um, gave up a lot of sacks, but he did have two pancakes. His senior year. He's a nice lineman, but it's time for him to go. Zoe Griffith, guys, the beast himself. Always stepped up when we needed him. As you guys can see, um, three rushing touchdowns. 2013 and three in 2016. Kind of took a back seat in, his, in 2014 and 2015. But um, stepped up when we needed him. Did it wasn't the best, wasn't the greatest running back, but. Step, definitely stepped up when we needed him. He will definitely, definitely going to miss him. Mason Daro, guys. Another uh, good old lineman for us. He's one of the higher overall ones. 81 overall, but he was not very good. I uh, got one pancake. Gave up uh, six sacks. Which wasn't, wasn't the best. Michael Stroud, guys. Really uh, good li uh, linebacker. Has 77 overall. Going to be missed on defense. Um, he, did, he, wasn't the bit, he wasn't the best player because he's... And that left outside linebacker spot, which I, the way my defense works, I don't really use that. But he is a really good player. Tough to see him go. Tyler Roth, always a good punter for us. Didn't punt it too much, but when we did, he he, he delivered. Let's see, 11 punts down inside of the 20. Really solid punter. Shannon Walker, the beast. Shannon Walker himself was an absolute. Uh, absolute freak senior year. Junior year, he was okay. Did really good. But his senior year, man, he was going crazy. As you see, he had more yards than his senior That's because he got hurt. He lost, missed like four games. He still almost had the same amount of yards. More touchdowns, and he got hurt too. But obviously, less attempts. Because he got hurt. Still, man, this guy was insane. He's a Juco product. Really good. 95 yard pass there. I remember that. He's a really good player, man. It's gonna, gonna be a huge loss to the team. Huge loss. Shannon Walker gonna get the start at quarterback. Uh, if he doesn't do very good, we can put in Langan. His throw power is just a little bit better. 89, 80, he's at throw power is better. They're laying against 73 and 76. So, um, he's gonna get the start. I got second and five here. Test out Shannon Walker's arm. Throwing to Cam Hayes, true freshman. Getting six, first and ten. First and goal, I got a read option. Give me for Shannon Walker. Up the seam, gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Princeton Tigers. Juco transferred. Um, he's a junior, Shannon Walker getting the first touchdown of the season. Of this. He did just that. Greg Leatherwood in the end zone. Touchdown, Princeton. Breaking a school record here. Got X. Grady. Another catch. He breaks the tackle. Grady Leatherwood still going. Touchdown, Princeton Tigers. John Langan, another sad to see him go transfer from Rutgers. Um, didn't get to play as much as he wanted to, probably, but he stepped in when Shannon Walker got hurt. Did really good. Um, he got hurt. So he went almost performing a thousand yards in the senior year, but it just wasn't the best. But he's still a really good, really good player. But we're gonna miss all these guys. They're good seniors for us. Probably smart dudes, but they're not really good in the football field. RJ Page, a good linebacker. Gonna miss him, he's really good. Linebacker core taking a hit here. 
Max Lascano was really really played just played back up to uh, to uh, Will Sledge, but he's a really good player too. Really really underrated. That's it guys, we're gonna miss all of these guys. Um, no drafts, no no Prince and Pro Prince and Tigers this year, but I think there's any more on the horizon. You know what? We you do receive one transfer request from a um, fullback from Navy's 56 overall is really bad, but you know, I'm gonna accept it because I don't know if we have a fullback on the team. And um, it's always nice to have one sometimes. Usually get a blocking, but I will accept him for now. If I need to cut him, uh, I guess I can, but we'll see. So guys, let's going to do the offseason points. Um, it's kind of risky, only giving Adam Madison 4,400 pretty much. But um, yeah, I really, really, really need him. Like, really bad. He's a really good player. Might give him some more points here. Uh, Justin Leonard, giving him 1,500. Hopefully that'll be enough. These guys, 2,000 apiece. You know what, I'm gonna, actually going to change this, so we have Slater Romero, so what I'm going to do, the 4,000 and sorry Kurt Stewart, you're, I bet Nebraska's going to go all out, so, I'm going 4,000 to Maurice, dropping that back down to 3,000, like this, I know they gave him a 79 overall lineman, but look down here, as you can see I already have 80 and 75, so, we don't need linemen as much as I thought. So, we go. drop 5,000 to him. Hopefully we get him. All right, let's see what happens. This is good luck. Here we go, guys. He's recruiting. Kyle Singleton decides, sorry, Kyle Singleton decides not to go to college. Uh, Justin Leonard, uh, Notre Dame steals him. Figured that might happen. Oh, well, man. We have Will Sledge and Marcus Anderson, so it's fine. But what carefully could have used him. Kirk Stewart, Nebraska doesn't give any points to him. That's just unlucky. Uh, Richard White, Georgia doesn't give any points hardly at all either. It's unlucky. Addison Madison, we blow out everybody. Thank goodness. Really wanted him, and we uh, get we steal Maurice Jackson as well. So that's a nice pickup. Texas goes all out, and Ricky Scott figured they would. So we pick up 12 prospects. Not a very big class, but the lowest player is a literally a 74 overall. So a 70 overall. Sorry, all 70s, mostly high 70s. So. Really good class, um, really good class, and we got a quarterback too, so that's good. Recruiting class finishes at 14 in the country. Um, not bad, not bad at all. One five star, um, a lot of four stars, it's going to be seven, and then four three stars, so really good class, really, honestly. Really good class. So we're now working on position changes, and Jesse Coleman is an absolute, absolute beast. Look at this. 80 overall center? I don't even know this. This dude's, a, this dude's goaded. This 70 overall athlete has freaking 86 man coverage. Jeez. Here's a quick look at uh, position changes. Of course, Adam Madison's our guy at quarterback. Uh, he's, he's really good running back and wide receiver, but need him, uh, need him at, uh, at quarterback. Running back, get Christian Phillips, obviously. And backups around Mike D'Angelo. Probably going to redshirt him, though. Hopefully, he won't leave. And then we have David Sims and Adam Smith, both backups too. Um, fullback at the transfer. Don't really worry about that. Uh, Grady is senior, sadly. Uh, this is before training results, by the way, for to tell you this. Um, but obviously we got the top four. And then you have Brent Martin and Ray Jones, two new athletes to convert a wide receiver. You have David Williamson, of course, Mikey Ridgeway. And then I'm, I'm probably going to cut this guy off, so don't worry about him. Tight end, we got James Barnes. Um, and then linebacker, we have a huge position change, so everybody needs to pay attention. Pay attention! Pay attention! Craig Atlaw gonna be the starting middle linebacker, obviously. Gonna need a backup one. Um, and then Joe Benson moves over to right outside linebacker. I'm gonna go ahead and give us some more depth at uh, middle linebacker here. Rodney Wilson's now back at middle linebacker. He used to be starting right outside linebacker. Now it's gonna be Joe Benson. And Craig Outlaw are going to be our two line linebackers. It's literally overpowered, guys. Uh, corner, we got Co Cody Wyatt, Connor Vickers, Antoine Brown, Anton Ramirez, and Tim Washington. They're all going to be 80s, so we're stacked. We are loaded at corner. Cody Wyatt going to be a 90. Free safety, 90. Will Sledge, uh, Clifton Richards, going to be a 73. He's coming up. Demarcus Anderson going to be an 80. 
89 overall kicker, and 81 overall punter. So I'm the number one punter because we're that goaded. Right here's his training results. Can't really see from here, but John Latimer, we're our backup. Set nice, 72 backup. Christian Phillips up to a 96. What a beast. Uh, David Sims up to an 80. Like 80 for 80. Love to see 80 overall freshmen. Adam Smith looking nice. Grady up to a 92. Cam Hayes 86. Rodney Neal 86. And Deron Clark 85. James Barnes up to a 78. Aaron up to a 76. An 80 there. Carl Weezer up to an 80. Nice. Uh, Crosby up to an 83. We have like an 80 there to a 79, I think. Dingle up to a 78. Henderson up to an 81. Nice. And Mike Fitch, a 80 overall freshman, pretty much. John Hummel to a 76. Nice. Kyle Thomas up to an 81. Looking, looking to see a lot of 80s on defense. Looking good. A couple 70s. Um, Casey West up to a 76. Outlaw up to an 82 overall freshman. This dude's going to be goaded. Stolen from Ohio State, I think. Dude's good. Ronnie Wilson up to a 75. And Joe Benson up to a 78. Cody up to a 93. Connor Vickers, 85. Anton Brown, 84. Anton Ramirez, 82. Tim Washington, 82. We are goaded at cornerback. Will Sledge up to an 89. It's a disappointing he didn't get to a 90. Be well in his senior year, so it doesn't matter. Anderson up to an 82. Looking goaded on defense. Jason Downing up to a 94. Let's go. All right, guys. We've grown out of the Mac now. By popular request, we will be going to the Big Ten East. That is it, guys. The move is done. The Princeton Tigers are now in the Big Ten East with Michigan, unranked Ohio State, apparently. Penn State and Michigan State, guys. That is going to be tough. Also, I did have another poll, guys. Um, if you guys wanted to see Big Ten with Notre Dame or without Notre Dame, 68% said they wanted Notre Dame, and 32% said they didn't. So I'll be adding Notre Dame as well. So there's going to be a 16, which Notre Dame is number two in the country, by the way. So Notre Dame will be added to the Big Ten West. This will be the first ever 16 team conference. I'm going to make a, thus a protected rival with Notre Dame. It's all, as it's done by default, us versus, us versus Notre Dame. So we're going to be playing Notre Dame every single year. Here we are, guys. Preseason 2017 starting off unranked. That's perfect. Love that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the preseason since uh, why not? Because this is about all the prospects I'm going to go after um, starting off. Greg Pittman is a nice wide receiver. Uh, Derek Reed, really good defensive end here. Um, CJ Griffin, nice corner. James Johnson, another good defensive end. Tony. Seymour, really good corner. Uh, Matt Brown is a decent tight end. Kenneth Russ, a decent strong safety. Frank Carter, decent guard. Tyus Heron, really good running. I guess, sorry, good, uh, good outside linebacker. Ken Gillette, good corner. I put the, some of the fastest prospects on the board. Guys, this guy is literally insane. Kyle Freeman, five-star athlete, 6'4". He runs a uh, he runs a 4'2", 97 speed. As a freshman, 93 acceleration. With a 78 catch, 89 spec catch, 82 route running. This guy's literally uh, insane. Just a speed demon. Nice. It would be a nice addition to the wide receiver core. And we have Chris Hicks, six foot. Uh, he's kind of a running back, running that top guy, but he can play uh, safety. And he can play safety as well in corner. 80 man, 83 zone, 96 speed. Um. He has 82 spin, 84 juke, 85 carrying. Kind of more of a corner, but he can also play running back. Yeah. Last but not least, we have Chris Landrum. I mean, this dude, is, this guy has literally a cheat code, guys, okay? He's literally a cheat code. 6'5", 215 pounds, at, ni at 93 speed, 83 acceleration, 80 throw power, 84 throw accuracy. This guy is insane, man. Imagine this guy at quarterback, guys. Jeez. I mean, look at the teams we're going up against. Penn State, Tennessee, LSU, and Ohio State. Pretty much no chance, but... You no, know, dude, I'd love to get this guy. He's literally insane. I guess I might as well redshirt um, Mike DeAngelis. He's fourth on the depth chart anyway, so... He'll probably be either second or... Th yeah, I'll say he'll be a second, probably. In his freshman year, so... 
Might as well red shirt him, you know? Wide receivers is gonna go ahead and red shirt Brendan Martin and Ray Jones. Have them for next year. No way they'll get to play this year anyway, so barely get to play very little. Uh, that's it. Leave it as is. Defensive tackle. I'm gonna red shirt. Um Let's go. Let's red shirt Jesse Coleman. This guy is gonna this guy's kinda like Chase Young type material. Um not obviously not that good, but like I mean 81 speed. This guy is really fast. He has good tackling and stuff. This dude's really good, guys. He's really good. He could be a really good player. 85 tackling. He could be. Well, he could be one of the best defensive ends I've ever had before. Defensive tackle. Can move him around the defensive line, too. Okay, right, guys, here's how the schedule's looking for this year. <laughs> Playing six ranked teams. I'm going all out this year, guys. So we got FCS Midwest, the tune up game. We have a chance to get our revenge against Washington. Absolutely destroyed us in the second season. A few OG Princeton watchers remember. Um, we have an open week, week three, it's for, for uh, low lot cheese, stuff like that. Uh, then we have Auburn. Uh, you get a chance to get our revenge there. At Auburn, they're looking good, as always. Then we have our first Big Ten game is going to be against Nebraska. Then we have at Michigan State, at Nebraska, the way. At home versus Indiana. Or Indiana's going to be our first host. Then we have at Ohio State, can you get our revenge there? From a couple years ago, two years ago, something like that. I think that's from last year, yeah. Then we go at home versus number four, Michigan. At number six, Penn State. We have another bye week. We have at home versus Maryland. Should be able to win that one. And then we have at home versus number one, Notre Dame. And then we have at Rutgers. That's our senior game, by the way. It's at home versus number one, Notre Dame. That's homecoming, because... Actually, no, and homecoming is probably be this one, but this is the senior night right here, guys. We, we gotta get that job done. And we have the conference championship week. I'll be surprised if we make it to the Big Ten championship, but you never know. Hey, guys, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging, because that would be messed up. Here's our official overalls 86 overall with an 86 offense and an 87 defense. Our defense is looking solid. Offense gonna go downhill. Um, we have a freshman starting a quarterback. We have er everything good except for yeah, everything. We're chilling at everything except for quarterback. Two, we're just young there. It's gonna be a problem, probably. Right, guys, week one is I'm gonna do the points. 700 Derek Reed, 700 Tony Seymour, 700 Ken Durant because I need a strong safety. Um, 700 Kyle Freeman, Chris Hicks, and Chris Landry, of course. Those are beasts. Ken Jolett, 700. CJ Griffith, 700 because we need corner. We're gonna be losing a lot pretty soon. James Johnson, you get the rest, and then five to these guys, because most of these guys are, I mean, a 70 overall guard, don't really need that. Um, most of these guys are replaceable on the luck cheese, so just waiting to see what's on that. All right, guys, it might be a hot take. We're starting off 48th in the country. Um, surprised we start off that low. I thought we'd be, I thought we'd be top 40 at least, but, oh, well, at least we can prove them wrong, but, uh, like, oh, they're in the Big Ten now, they're not going to do as good, probably. Five star school, we're chilling right now. We are chilling. Right, guys, next episode, we're going to be taking on SCS Midwest. They're absolutely terrible. Um, you know, getting our history against SCS teams, not the best, but just need a tune up game to figure out. So, we're going to give Adam Madison just to figure out the offense and the team. Then, we're going to be going into, I think, Washington. Yep. So, uh,. Um, anyways, guys, I'm really hyped for this fifth season, man. It's a big change. Uh, team schedule is going to get a lot harder. We're going to play a lot more ranked teams. Uh, can't wait for it, guys. So don't forget to stick into next week. Um, season five, guys. Cannot wait. Um, anyways, guys, really, uh, really enjoy, uh, enjoyed making this video. Enjoyed doing the Princeton Tigers. Um, RTG coming soon. Going to be a quarterback, as requested by the poll. It was over 200 plus votes, and quarterback had the most votes, so by far. So, we doing a quarterback in the upcoming RTG series. Just gotta finish off the Kansas State Championship Series. Um, anyways, guys, thank you to all you guys who watched it. If you're stay, if you're still watching the video up to this point, you're a beast. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.